Oh, you remember him, Mr. Anju? Yeah. He was he was uh, on Digital Web for so many years ago. Yeah. And um, we are here in CP Plus. Yes. That's <laughs> something really Welcome cool. To Japan, yes. I mean, they, they they didn't pay me to say anything. It's just cool. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, for Thank you so much, any yeah. ZF user, you need this because it finished the look. Like, look at this. I. Like, just like look my, at this. Yeah, just, just like, look at this. Like all my videos, it's always not really about the specs or anything, but it's about the feeling. Yeah. If you feel better emotionally, your photos would look better because yeah. it's, photos are very emotional. I yeah. Think, in my in my in my opinion, like yeah. I, I really don't know how to explain this through the camera, but you have to feel it. Well, you you can already see it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's so smooth. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this with my pinky like that. <laughs> yeah. And aperture ring. Well, okay, this is a manual lens. Yes, it's a manual lens. That's why you can have the aperture ring because Nikon don't do that. Right. It actually baffles me that when Nikon make a setup C and setup that look exactly like a film camera, they don't really have a lens that look exactly like old school. I think this is what missing from the setup experience, and here it is. Yeah. Uh... Well, to me, it's it's really all about just the feeling. Like, yeah. why why are you doing this? Why there's I don't I don't know why. It just feels nice. I want something like this on this camera. Yeah, exactly. that's why it's, it's that's why it's made. Like, still we we have to talk about a little this, bit about teleco. This is for um, crop sensor lens. This is a crop sensor. APAC. Oh, by the way, it's from Hong Kong as well. Yes, it's it's from Hong Kong. Yeah. Yay! Oh, and this is uh, full the frame. full frame. 35 millimeter version f1.4 f1.4 yeah and this is also smooth like butter yeah. and got the all the, the colorful aperture yes. value this is especially fun the same color scheme from actual old lecon lens helps you check out the depth of field and do song focusing apparently this is all handmade yes. i mean all the all the color they emboss it and then paint it like a mahjong Yes. Two different versions. This is the, the rubber grip. Yes. From it's a oh the, the, the 80s front. version. Yeah. Yeah. The front. This is silver, black, and then the grip is a bit different. Some may think this looks better. Some may find it the uh, one the rubber, rubberized, long slip. Cool. That's really yes. cool. If you're a fan of ZF on and setup C, I think this is what you're missing. Really, I do think so. It totally completes the look. It completes it. Yeah. So how can I get it? For now, um, you can go to ultralab.com. There's a link. Um, that's. I haven't been doing YouTube. The description yeah. down below. I haven't been doing YouTube for so long. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where the buttons go anymore. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same place. Description. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for bringing this to. No, thank you so much and, for. That fans. Yeah, thank you so much for the the interview. It's uh, it's been a while. Yeah, maybe maybe. Yeah, we'll definitely send you uh, some some samples. Yeah, if you're, if you're yeah, you will see another video soon. All right. Well, mm. thank you. Like, yeah, if you're interested, please check this out. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, if you like vintage cameras, you must have thought about X100. And I got one here that looks a little bit different. You ask. Yes, it looks different and it looks better. This bit is sponsored by Lisi to tell you about the UV filter and lens hood and a metal lens cap for X100. Actually, for all X100. So, as you know, or maybe you don't know, on the X100, all the X100 are the same. You have to remove this ring and it gives you a filter thread that's inside out. You can put a normal filter on it inside out, not inside out, I mean the, the other way. The problem is when you do macro, the lens actually stack out. Sometimes it just push into your filter. It won't happen with the Nisi UV filter that's quite hard to show you because it's really good. I can't really see the, the reflection. Quite hard to find the reflection really. And it also got kind of like oil proof. Basically, you don't get fingerprint easily. So I can like... Yeah. 
<laughs> it's good. So we put it on. Now it actually doubles as a filter adapter. You can put on other 49mm filter on it because it got a normal filter thread. And in fact, you can use the original Fujifilm lens cap on it as well. And now, ooh, that looks so good. And you can still use filter with the lens hood. And you got this lens cap, metal as well. Does it block? Okay, it blocked a little bit. It's going to happen, but it's not, it's not too bad. But most importantly, it just looks so good. So yeah, Nisi, filter, lens hood, and lens cap. Okay, check this out. <laughs>